Hey, lands. Run. Look. Off at 12.30? Yeah. What is it? Daddy gets off work early. Great news. A couple more hours to go. We're painting this weekend. My name's Blake Pisey. Thanks for joining me this episode. Hey, bud. We're going. Andy, come back, let's go. <laughs> yes. Three kids is insane. Slightly different than what we used to do in Kelowna. We go to Marble Slab, walk across the street, go to the beach. Fun Friday night out of the uh, furniture mattress outlet parking lot. But we got a full van and we were able to grab everything we need for paint tomorrow. before boring my brother-in-law's hope it goes okay Christmas 2020. One to remember. Yeah. Stayed up way too late last night. Kids really wanted help yesterday. Felt kind of bad saying no. They're getting picked up today at noon. I think we're gonna let them help paint for a little bit. See how it goes. I'm gonna go get changed. Stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. Yep. Tore down the wall I wish I could go back to Right before you told me I'm trying to change it all But look at us now Mommy could have gone so far It hurts to realize the part Yeah, look at us now This is who we are and I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again Again. 
Fun skin's all complete. Time for the big reveal. What color we chose. Lindsay chose this color. She said it looked good with wood. Paradise found. <laughs> Who would have thought green? I don't really like green, but. I like this green. Okay, a quick uh, little tip for you. Not a big tip, but a good tip. Learned it from YouTube. If you're spraying out of a can like this, instead of just leaving it on the floor, you stick the hose in, you almost get it overflowing. Plus, you run the risk of somebody knocking it over. So you drop your one gallon inside of a five gallon. It's all nice and safe and clean. Beautiful. It's all primed up, ready to go. We'll get spraying now. Oh my goodness. Um, I told you. Why is that doing that? Things are looking a little sketchy so far. We got splatters in the wall. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I turned the pressure up a bit. It seemed a bit low, so. Well, it's definitely way quicker. I love it. It's way more fun. I think that's why I wanted to do it. I think I figured out where Lindsay got her inspiration from. Okay. We are almost down a gallon. And I definitely didn't get 350, 400 square feet out of that. Whatever. Let's add another. <laughs> it is so fast. It all worked well, except for the fact that I got a lot of overspray all over the floor. Like really bad. So I was panicking. Lindsay came to the rescue, used her little magic cleaning mixture, and she's taking care of business, saving the day, while I try to wrangle the kids. Things are looking pretty good. I guess I lost the debate. It was an absolute mess. Maybe it would have just been quicker to roll and paint. But we're done. <laughs> okay, it's been about a week and we are so close to being done. Lindsay's uh, taking a little time out here on the stairs. She's a little over with this whole project. We've had a lot of great help from family and Lindsay's parents have helped out lots. And as you can tell here, the rec room is complete. By the way, I'm also really excited about this wall. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do, but I think I'll line it like Baltic birch. We're thinking we actually might do something different rather than just oil. We might paint each individual sheet of, and we'll see. Thinking maybe like a climbing wall, basketball hoop, some monkey bars down to a rope in the center. By the way, out here is the sun sets. I'm telling you, this looks just beautiful. We love it. We've got one coat of primer, two coats of paint on the entire space. We've got the roof, the trim, the walls. Painting's a lot of work. Something I didn't really think about was these stairs. That was awful, doing the ceiling and then blending it in to the walls afterwards. I haven't filmed for the last couple of days, mainly saving you from watching a lot of boring painting shots. So in the shop here, all we've got left is just the upper walls. We took care of the two coats on the ceiling this morning while the kids played out in the rec room. So I'm gonna film it, I'll do it a little different. I'll see if I can get a bit of a cinematic painting role. You sit back, enjoy this, I'll cue the music. Oh, no. oh. I'll cue the music now, I'll give this a shot, and then we'll wrap up this video. YouTuber got the idea from. Bubbly. These guys are killing it. It's curbing my addiction to Diet Coke. Okay, well that's it for me. And check it out. I'm actually getting somewhere. I got something on the wall. We're 
totally done painting. We finished that last night. We did a bit of a clean this afternoon here. Now, I don't know what it looks like through the poor quality camera I've got, but for me, I just love it. This is everything I wanted and more. I feel like the white, the green, the floor, it all just ties together and really complements each other. Yeah, I couldn't be happier. The beadboard, I think it's a nice touch. As you can tell here, I think Lindsay was right. It does look really good with the wood. Honestly though guys, what an improvement. If we just look back at what this was a few months ago, from this and now to this, I couldn't be happier. Now part of me feels like, why is this taking so long? But then on the other hand, it's only been a couple of months and I think we banged it out pretty quick. And for that, truly grateful for my wife, she's unbelievable. And a big shout out to my parents and my in-laws who've made this all possible by lending a hand and watching the kids here and there. I might be getting a little ahead myself, I'm not quite done yet. Still lots to do, but it's enjoyable stuff. I think it's something to do with the color on the walls that makes you feel a little more motivated and things are coming together. Compared to the last video where I felt a little defeated, kind of ready to pack it in. So yeah, we've still got the electrical, we need to do the lights, we need to terminate all the receptacles that run the perimeter of the shop. And then we also have the ventilation, we got the supply, and we've also got our exhaust. We need to tie that in to the HRV on the other side of the room. And then over here I need to build a cabinet and install the sink. And I'll probably do some upper cabinets as well. And lastly, we'll probably have another unboxing video. Something I'm very excited for is my first real big dust collector. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I tried to make it somewhat interesting. I know painting can be quite boring. And if you did, then like the video, hit subscribe, and click that notification bell so you see more. Thanks for joining me in this episode. I'll see you in the next. And lastly, time to make it official.